It was so much grander than I could have imagined. Peering down into the abyss towards the stern of the vessel, I knew we had found something very, very special. I've dove a lot of shipwrecks, but nothing like this before. How could this even exist? It defies the laws of physics and gravity. How could a ship sink so perfectly on a seawall, remain intact, upright, and only a meter from the surface? If it was anywhere else in the world, it would be famous, but it's not. It's here in the Solomon Islands, where things tend to get lost and forgotten. She's off the map and incredibly hard to find. And maybe that's why I'm feeling so excited. As the search for the vertical wreck of the Nona Lagoon is really where the adventure starts. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore our planet both above and below the surface and find out what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. We're going through the reef now. I've got them in the dinghy doing depth soundings for me. And the shallowest they've seen is 10 feet. So, a little bit stressful. Ooh, here, here it comes. Oh, I'm seeing depth of six meters, five meters, four meters, four me three meters, two and a half meters, three meters, it's growing now, it's growing, it's growing, two and a half meters, I think we're three meters, two and a half meters, Two and a half meters. Are we through? Which way? Yeah, you. Okay, you pass. You pass the reef. Oh, my heart is pounding. Okay, we're through. That took like half hour. <laughs> I thought I saw all the perfect islands already, but we have one more left there. We actually saw two and a half meters. Our keel's two and a half meters. Cleared it though. It's okay. But uh, yeah, we're surrounded by beautiful islands, and we're the only people here once again. So, and hopefully, if my coordinates are correct, we're at the doorstep of a really unique wreck that we'll dive first thing in the morning. So we got on the inside of this reef. We're sheltered. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. <coughs> Thank you. 
This is supposedly one of three upright shipwrecks, okay? So it's a fishing trawler and it somehow hit the reef and the reef was a wall, so I don't even know, but it hit the reef and it, when it fell, it fell pfft. So it is upright, in other words, the bow is straight up. Like vertical. Vertical, yeah, Whoa. vertical shipwreck. So the stern is like way deep and the bow is supposedly just a couple meters underwater and it stayed that way. Let's go find the, the shipwreck, huh? Yeah. So um, I cannot remember if I got the GPS coordinates from like, if it's like the actual GPS or if I just guessed and said like, oh, it's in this area. So, so we have a, a waypoint in the sharp water that we don't actually know if it's the right coordinates one. are just like it's somewhere here yeah so i'm gonna explore that for a minute while you make me a yummy breakfast and then oh, we i'm gonna will... make you a yummy breakfast uh -huh. huh? and then we what were... am i gonna make you um clips clips i don't know how emily knows how she could tell you how pineapple clips because oh. we got extra pineapple Thank you very much. Are you sure you don't want to put fuel in before we go? Are you filming it for proof? I like to live my life on the edge. We're gonna see. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay. All right. I got some trades. Got some nice pants from Nadine, Savon's mom, and I've got exercise books and pans, and <clears throat> these. Oh, it even says USA. Oh. And goggles. <clears throat> some America goggles. Anyhow, we're gonna head to the village. We're gonna pick up our friend. Lemu. Is that his name? Lemu? Yeah. That's Lemu. a cool name. Lemu. And he's gonna show us where the wreck is. I'm glad we waited actually because today is dead calm. Yeah. And there's the water's like crystal clear. So it seems like a good day to dive a wreck. Get it. Get it. Let's we're go. gonna get it. Yeah. And we made us a pancake. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to come squeak? <laughs> Do you want to come with? Oh, look at your snout. What have you been eating? Did you find some flour? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to come for a little joy ride, huh? Yeah, let's go. Oh, oh no. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Nate's excited. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's good. Today is beautiful, the water. Yeah. Since we are right here, it has been like very murky. Really, really murky. And today we can see the bottom. So it's no wind, no waves. It's perfect to dive today. Yeah. Oh my god, look at this little baby. Let's do it. Oh my god, she is so cute. Alright, let's yeah. drive like this. Yeah. Oh my baby pig. <laughs> I could go around the world, finest diamonds, precious pearls, they'd all turn to dust in my hand. Seven wonder city streets, ocean air and mountain peaks, they are not the finest in the land. Much more than these I have seen firsthand. Cause there ain't nothing, there ain't nothing, there ain't nothing like coming home to very good. Oh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> this is Aitor. He's from hey. Spain. I'm Nate from USA. Ramu. Ramu, nice to meet you all. Oh, I'm from USA. Yeah. And this is Peanut. From not, not all. I'm from Canada, Spain, and USA. Oh, okay. I'm from Ukraine. And the pig, Vanuatu. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we brought you some things for kids. Oh, and some pants. Oh. Come, come, come. 
Avocado? Avocado. Um, oh, yeah. Avocado. We can, and we can bring yeah. stuff back for trade. We'll give him stuff. Okay, perfect. Thank we'll you so much. Thank, Thank you. Good trade. Thank you, bro. We've got our, our uh, guides, and we're going to head out, and they're going to hopefully show us this amazing, amazing rack I'm so excited to dive. family is right there where I want to be it's all I need to be a rich man they are all I need to be a rich man there ain't nothing there ain't nothing we're gonna make it no we never would have found this no, never. <laughs> we were so far away yes whoa it's wow. like is so it, shallow Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! It feels like we're gonna hit it. Oh my god! There it is. There it is. I thought we were gonna hit it in the dinghy. The very tip, the very bow of the ship is... It looks like a, like a bomby, like a coral bomby. And as you get closer, like Nate trimmed the engine up. It felt like we were gonna smash right into it. Holy shit! Oh wow. Oh. Someone ex is excited to jump in, huh? Yeah. Look at this kid. I have a GoPro. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> oh, what is it, Ator? It's impressive. You can see how it's uh, touching the vertical wall you with a key. We all make mistakes, but sadly for the captain and crew of the Teo, this one was a big one. On its maiden voyage, this 300-foot Japanese tuna fishing vessel got disoriented and was having a hard time navigating the shallow, uncharted reefs of the Nono Lagoon. I must admit, I can't blame them, as from personal experience, I have found myself stuck in between a reef and a hard place on more than one occasion here. Slowly putting through the balmy littered sea with my high-tech navionics charts, satellite imagery, drones, crew on mass, and as lead boats ahead of me in dinghies. I can understand how these things can and do happen. She rammed into the reef and settled on top, but the even more costly mistake happened when days later they tried to salvage the ship and pull her backwards off the reef, where she quickly began to take on water and simply slipped stern downwards along the wall, falling almost too perfectly into a well-placed crack that stopped her from sinking even deeper into the abyss. With this being one of only two vertical shipwrecks in the world, you must think to yourself of how many things must have lined up just perfectly to have stopped her from tipping one side to the other over time, or simply being too deep to dive recreationally. But as they say, one company's loss is another man's treasure. And today I am that man. And this is my treasure.
I'm a no monster. How was it, Bryson? It's amazing. I'm a little bit afraid. Uh, <laughs> when, uh, have you ever seen it before, like with the mask in the water? No, no I heard about it. Yeah. Just for the first time, I, I saw it. <laughs> Wow. wow. Okay. My favorite place to be is right here. Not thinking out what brings me down. Yeah. My favorite way to be without fear is in the now. I'm learning how. Facts by no face, no I'm doing just fine. One foot and another. the sun I'm to the most beautiful remote beaches in the entire world and certainly in the South Pacific and actually we were just talking and saying that today is I think only the second time I can think of on Sylphia that we've just sat on a beach and just swam and we took Peanut running because Peanut loves to come to shore and that's like her favorite thing to do is to just run on the beach and eat hermit crab and dig like huge tunnels in the sand with her snout. And it's very cute and I just was having a moment of looking around and there's, I don't know, at least 30 islands that you could see from where we're sitting right now. And we're the only human beings in sight and we're on this crazy sandbar like in the absolute middle of nowhere in probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in the whole world and it feels pretty good. Lagoon, like I did a little bit of research, and it's supposed to be really touristy and like the most beautiful spot from the Solomons, but where there are a lot of boats. And I, I feel so lucky because we're just here, like we didn't see maybe one other boat, and there is like so many uninhabited islands, which is it's so cool just to be here by our own. Next time on Expedition Drenched, we have a beautiful sail to Tetapari, the largest uninhabited island in the South Pacific. Good day. There's three things I like in the world. Sailing, spearfishing, and my baby pig. And today I thought I would combine all three. Let's go. Ew. Oh, and never try to make a mustache without a mirror. It doesn't work out too well. She just pooped on me though. I still love you, Nina. I still love you. You're a good pig. She poop on your vlog. She poop on your vlog. Your, yes, your vlog is poop. Good enough. Your vlog is my poop. vlog is poop. They said that living on a sailboat uh, would be full of dirty jobs, but I bet you didn't expect to be doing this. She's no. cleaning the oh. pig. So I never, I never had to clean a pig toy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say to let it go! <laughs> the koala challenge. I have to stay with... Uh, Doggy style? Doggy style, I know. <laughs> You're so close! You're so close. Peanut, crush peanut. <laughs> Yesterday she was sleeping and I needed to go to the toilet and then she will just be like, like she would really start biting it. And look now. Most of them, they cannot, they cannot open the Love level increases every time she goes poop in the box. I'm sleeping with Emily. <laughs> Before going to sleep, they were both in bed, like, you know, like maybe spooning or something. And Chloe asked, 
Are you naked? <laughs> <laughs> I let it. There. She didn't ask. She whispered to my ear. Are you naked? Are you naked? I want to be asked up by Chloe one day. <laughs> Sorry, Will. We can only dream. I mean, Sorry, I miss Will, and I need to. I mean, I need to we find look my way. Will. <laughs> <laughs>